I don't think I have ever stared into this camera at this time feeling more dead. There's no other way to describe how I feel right now. I'm actually scared to go through my day today. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Guys, I got approximately one hour of sleep last night. One hour. I've never, that's never happened in my entire life. Like, it was a really bad night. I ended up sleeping on the couch because I went to bed, like I tried to go to sleep at 9 p.m. I'm tired, like there's no reason I shouldn't be able to just pass right out. I always pass out. This has never been an issue before, but I just have not been able to sleep, sleep lately. Like I don't know, if I've just been having like anxiety and I don't even know what it's over. I don't know what. I was just tossing and turning finally at around midnight. Like imagine just doing that for three hours, not an ounce of sleep. I ended up going to the couch, opening up the blinds, listening to the Taylor Swift album, and I just stared out the window as it rained, which made the scene obviously way more dramatic than I needed to be. Thinking like, what, why, what's happening? Why can't I sleep? The last time I looked at the clock, my phone, it was around 12.40 a.m. And I obviously didn't just fall right asleep, like I was just laying there, so I genuinely got about an hour of sleep. I woke up at two o'clock this morning. I don't feel well at all. And you know, once it kind of like gets past a certain point, you start having anxiety about the fact that you're not sleeping, like the fact that like you're not able to sleep and oh my gosh, how are we gonna go to work tomorrow or whatever you need to do? I used to do this with school also. I mean, I've always had sleep problems. Like I've never been the best sleeper in the entire world. When I was little, I remember I wasn't allowed to have Coke or caffeine because my night terrors just got so out of hand. Yes, there's sleepwalking and that's something I still do to this day, but when I was little, I would have night terrors. And I, by the way, I even had this in college a little bit, which was weird with a roommate who really didn't know me. Night terrors, for those of you who are unfamiliar, is when you, you see things. Like you jolt awake and you are just seeing either people in the room or things and you just start screaming. And in college I wasn't like screaming, but when I was little, my mom would have to come into my room. I don't know how often this was, like twice a week or something, where I would just wake up screaming bloody murder, which is kind of really creepy. And if I were my mom, I'd kind of be scared. Your heart feels like it's gonna pop out of your chest. It is the craziest thing. And one of my triggers when I was a child is caffeine. And that's anyone's trigger, I think, if you look it up. Like it provokes these, it makes them happen. So once I cut out like having Coke, I used to have Coke with my McDonald's three times a week. <laughs> yes, my dad picked me up McDonald's three times a week. We were a um, busy working family. But yeah, once I made the switch from like Coke to water, it really helped a lot. But anyway, I, I don't even I don't even know what to say. We're gonna check in, we're gonna see how I'm doing. I don't even no amount of makeup is gonna fix what I look like right now and how I feel, but we're gonna try. If only I knew how to work Zach's Nespresso, I seriously Oh. I, I I don't even know what to do with that though. I really have no idea. I feel like at this point nothing is actually gonna help. I mean the deed is done. One hour of sleep, it's my body, we're just gonna have to live with it. Also, I think I'm gonna, I might wear these earrings today. I don't know, I'm not really an earring person. I always just wear these little studs. Let's give it a shot. So here's the before, and here is the after. I really don't even know if I like it. I don't, I'm not like an earring person, I don't know. But the good news is even your worst day is only 24 hours. Even your worst work day is only nine or eight. I guess some people work eight hour days and you just get through it. You're gonna get through it, we're gonna get through it. Things could be worse. I could have gotten no sleep last night. I was seriously considering like, should we just go for the goal with an all-nighter? Cause I feel like, you know when you're laying in bed and then you have like the pressure to fall asleep? I was like, I just wanna pull an all-nighter and just get rid of that pressure. But no, I'm glad I didn't do that. We are gonna live, we are gonna live. I'll check back in in a couple of hours, we'll see. I just got back from my early morning live shots and right now you're probably wondering, Clancy, are you awake? How tired are you? But those are not the questions you should be asking. You should be asking, have you found shelter? In Ohio, polls close at 7.30. We should be getting the first initial report at around 8. It's a very windy morning. Oh, that is not good. At 8 o'clock, of course, though, it could be a long night, just as it is a very long morning for me. For now, back to you in the studio. Yeah, absolutely. I, I vote for you finding a place with less wind this morning, Clancy. Uh, thank you so much for that. It was not a pleasant morning, but fortunately, I'm here with my main man, Hen. Are you kidding me? As if this day could not have run any less smooth, I had lipstick on my teeth in this entire clip. Ah! You actually have some fans. I, I put you in my last video. People were loving it. Well, that's what's up. What's up, people? <laughs> Tell them what you call us, our nickname. Oh, uh, we are the uh, Puddle Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel like every time we're together, it's raining and it's just nasty. Every time Henry and I are together, just know it's gonna be raining, it's gonna be sad, it's gonna be puddles. We're gonna have to change clothes, even my socks. I was dripping wet. I feel like I'm gonna puke of exhaustion. Like, have you ever had that? <laughs> have you ever had that? <laughs> because I genuinely puke like- of exhaustion. That was it. I'm telling you, your phrases, you you should copyright and trademark <laughs> things you say. Puke of exhaustion, I love that. But now we are on our way to our 9 a.m. live shot. Oh my gosh, wow, you can really see like, you can see the exhaustion in my in my face and my look. We are praying, we are hoping, I think, it's gonna be indoors, but oh, yeah. please God. Well, as if this morning could not get any worse, it did. <laughs> that face says it all. Guys, we just went to the Hamilton County Board of Elections for a 9 a.m. live shot. We were so hyped about being dry yeah. and inside. Yeah. yeah. And then. We had no audio. And it's because of what happened this morning. We were in a monsoon. Two minutes out from the live shot. They're like, you're two minutes away. You can't hear us. So we just like genuinely had to just scratch that live shot. We stayed, we got video. I don't even know what the title of this vlog is gonna be, like the, the worst morning in the history of mornings. And obviously I am JK and guys, life is good, life is good, but I cannot emphasize enough how sick I feel right now. And no, like I don't have a virus or anything, like I'm not sick. I just feel so sick with exhaustion. One of the tactics they would use in like the FBI or the CIA was sleep deprivation. Keep someone awake for several days and they'll eventually just crack. Okay, I, I'm not trying to compare myself to that. I've obviously only been awake for like a day, but I totally get that. If the slightest thing were to happen right now, I would just cry because I, I don't know. I, I just am not feeling great. One thing I do want to say though is even in this moment where, I don't know, I'm just overwhelmed with so many things. I'm worried I'm not gonna even be able to sleep tonight just because clearly I've been having issues, but I'm grateful. And I think in life it is so easy to be grateful when everything's going right. Of course, yeah, I'm grateful, everything's great, woo, yeah. The real test and what's truly gonna make you a happy human being is being grateful even in the tough situations. Because if you can be grateful in the tough situations, then nothing can stop you. And it's ironic that I'm saying this because it popped up on my little Instagram archive thing where it tells you what you posted a year ago, two years ago, whatever. And it was a series of my old diary entries. You guys can actually go to my Instagram and try to find that. It's hilarious. I posted like just the dumbest things ever. Like, oh dear diary, I'm crying, I'm so sad. Failed my science test, really dumb things. But at the end of every single entry, these were from when I was 12 years old, by the way, I ended it with, thank you God for letting me live this day or something along those lines. Didn't matter what was happening in my life, I was thankful just to be alive. And really what like inspired that and why it truly was meaningful for me is because I almost died that year, so it makes sense, but it is so true. And so I am going to use that to push me through the last part of my work day. I have a couple of things I need to work on and we're gonna get through it, guys. We're gonna get through it. Break. Well, it looks like I have a brand new sleep location. Yes, I once again slept on the couch last night and once again, I got an hour of sleep. Somehow, some way, I had another sleepless night where I could not sleep. So I ended up taking a four hour nap yesterday after that crazy night of only getting an hour of sleep. So I slept from one to five. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, you couldn't sleep because of the nap, but that nap was just catching me up on last night's sleep. But what about the next night? I still need to sleep the next night, right? And this has never been an issue before. I split sleep, like taking naps during the day is common. Taking a four hour nap is common for me because I split it up and I have never ever had an issue with falling asleep after a nap. I've woken up from naps at 6.30 and fallen asleep that night by nine. Not to mention, I was exhausted. Like at 8.30, I had a headache of exhaustion just because the nap really didn't catch me up completely and I got into bed. I was listening to a podcast like I always do, but I just couldn't fall asleep and I was getting just so sick of my bed that I ended up just moving to the couch once again. And remember how yesterday I was so optimistic saying, oh, well, you know what? Your worst day is only 24 hours. What happens when you have two bad days back to back? That's 48 hours, no, but we're gonna be okay. Today's Friday, so that makes me feel so much better that I can sleep in tomorrow if my body will let me. And we are still gonna have a great day today, guys. We're gonna have a great day. Why is this my life right now? <sighs> I pulled up to the, what's happening? I'm gonna die. Something is going wrong. I pulled up to the park where we were doing live shots because there's a view of the city and there's a police officer here shining his light everywhere. Either he's shining his light toward me because I'm doing something wrong or there's like a criminal on the loose. I don't know. Oh 
Oh my God, he's showing me his light. What the heck is happening? I'm so scared. I don't know to drive up to him and be like, hi, like, are we safe? Um, oh, my photo dog's not here yet. It's just me. When's Brian getting here? I'm so scared. Do you, you, do you see it? He's shining his light. I'm literally about to cry. I'm so scared. What's happening? Oh shoot, his car is moving. Oh my God, I think he wants me to like come to him or something. Guys, okay, can you see us? Look what he's doing, he's shining his light. I, th I think I'm in danger. I don't know what's happening. Oh shoot, he's coming closer. He's coming to me. <laughs> oh my God, he's speaking on his loud speaker to me. I don't know what to do. I don't know if he said don't move or move. I don't, like, I don't want to get out of my car, obviously. I don't know what to do. Like, I need to memorize my freaking live shot script. Uh, Hello, Brian. Just wanted to know your, um, your location. I'm on the way. I'm only, like, a few minutes. Okay, because I'm in a situation. I don't know. If, am I about to get arrested? He's putting on those lights now. Oh, my gosh. Brian's here. Hello. Okay, I didn't want to get in my car and scare you. Oh, you're fine. I Oh my gosh. Okay, that was the most ridiculous thing ever. I don't even know if I made sense in that video. Basically, the cop ended up getting out of the car to approach my vehicle. I can't explain it though. I was parked in such a sketchy spot. Like he couldn't see who was behind the wheel. He couldn't see anything. And I was scared of even like waving my hand out. Like I didn't want him to think I had a gun or a weapon or I was doing anything sketchy. I mean, it was dark. So that's why I was just staying in the car because that's what I've always been told. Do not get out of the car. If a cop approaches you, he ended up turning his lights on as if I was freaking getting arrested. He obviously wasn't gonna arrest me, but turning the lights on, he's approaching the car and then Brian, my photog, pulls up, saves the day. He pulled up in a marked news car so the cop could easily see it. Local 12, he could get out of the car. But <laughs> Brian pulls up to the cop approaching my car and the cop's like, what's going on? And then Brian's like, that's my reporter. And he was like, what is she doing? And then I ran out of the car once I heard them talking and was like, oh my gosh. The cop was laughing. He was so nice. He's probably only like five or six years older than me. And anyway, it ended up being great. We did our live shots actually covering Halloween. State leaders and health experts are asking us to reconsider Halloween gatherings this year, but there are always ways to celebrate safely. Local 12's Clancy Burke has some recommendations from health experts. Clancy. Bob, I love that voice. You are making this chilly morning a lot better. And really what we're hearing is what we've been hearing for the past couple of months. Indoor activities are not recommended. Outdoor activities are better. But yeah, I just finished up my work day. Finally, I don't know how I'm alive right now. Like honestly, my head doesn't even really hurt. It was actually, have you guys ever been so tired that your stomach hurts? Like I felt like I was gonna puke. I didn't though, so that's great. And I'm just gonna take off all my makeup and get ready for bed. I'm praying I'm gonna be able to sleep. Like I don't even feel like I can sleep right now. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Just a little dramatic. All right, I just got back from the store. We can do a little haul. My dinner tonight is a place called Fusion, which I'm sure you guys have seen me get a million, good billion times. It's basically just a rice bowl with chicken, avocado, carrots, cucumber, and obviously brown rice. Did I say that? Uh, sweet soy sauce. This stuff, this stuff makes it. Oh my gosh, it's it's so good. And then I got as a snack some popcorn. This stuff you guys have seen me eat before. Boom chicka pop. It is. Is, it's the best. It is just the absolute best. And some grapes. Of course, we get the red grapes. People who get green grapes, I just don't trust them. I ended up taking a four hour nap today and now it's Friday night and I plan on just staying and Zach is at his dad's football game. His dad is a high school coach. One time I texted my friend that like, oh, sorry, I can't hang out tonight. I'm at Zach's dad's football game. And she responded, wow, he still plays. That's great. No. He's a coach and normally I'd be at that game, but first of all, I thought I was actually gonna have to work tomorrow. I just found out I don't, which is awesome. But even more than that, like I, I don't know, I just need to rest and I, that sounds so lame. This has just been a really weird, crazy couple of days. And let me see if Zach texted me back. No, he did not. I'm trying to pull up Zach's dad's football game on my laptop so I can watch it. It's already 15 minutes in and I can't, it's not working. This sucks. Heck yes, it is about to go down and in my stomach. <laughs> All right, so slight change of plans. Twitches is gonna have to wait. I now have access to Zach's dad's football team's game. That was a mouthful. Cross our fingers that they win and I can attend next week's game. We did it! 
guys, I ended up sleeping like 10 and a half hours last night. It was the most magical experience of my entire life. I went to bed at probably like 11.30, which I was just so nervous about not being able to fall asleep and having the whole process happen again that I just made myself stay up until my eyes were like going to just shut on their own. You know what I mean? Like I wanted myself to be super tired. And then I woke up at around 10 this morning and I... I just feel so like well rested and happy. Obviously it's gonna take a little bit for me to like catch up on all that sleep I lost. Oh, we have someone coming in. Hello. Hello there. Not just me. And YouTube. <laughs> I love when you say hello YouTube as if it's just like a, a, a name of someone. I was filling them in that I slept like a baby last night and it was so magical and I'm so grateful. And it's so funny how you take something like sleep for granted. Like you just, oh, of course we go to sleep every night. Like, no, not always. And ever since I was little, insomnia has been like my worst fear in the entire world. Thank you for coming along on this journey. Obviously the big test will be next week to see if we can get myself like normal when I'm on my morning shift schedule and it's gonna be a crazy week, it's election week. So God bless me. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to follow along on this journey to see if we are gonna be okay. And I'll talk to you guys later, bye.